Crown Royal Limited Edition 10-year-old, a special age-stated limited edition available in Canada only to celebrate Manitoba's 150th birthday. Should you grab one of these? Stay tuned for the Whiskey Whistle. What up, my whiskey friends? Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, and a big happy birthday to Manitoba, 150 years. And that's a really cool logo, logo to celebrate it. Even Crown Royal got on the uh, the ball here, put out a 10-year-old, an age-stated release to celebrate, so that's awesome. So we're gonna get that poured. This is 40% ABV, as most Crown Royals are. And most Crown Royals have a screw top. In fact, I think they all do. I like screw tops because there's no cork to ruin your whiskey. So think about that. It's okay to get away from corks. And I'm going to pour that in my Canadian Glen Cairn glass. May as well celebrate it, right? Here we go. Nice healthy pour. A solid finger there. Should I do a little bit more? Why not? All right. So first of all, limited edition is a whiskey that is available only in Canada. So if you're in USA, if you're in Texas and you really love your Crown Royal and you want a limited edition, then get on up here to Canada. I guess once the COVID-19 pandemic has, has come and gone, maybe in a year or two, let's hope, fingers crossed, and uh, grab yourself one of these. If you want a 10 year old, well, then you got to have connections because I think it's only available here in Manitoba. And really funny story as I let that sit for a minute just to air out and uh, uh, get, get some oxygen into the whiskey. Let that breathe for a minute. Really funny. So I noticed, I mean, I checked the website for the Manitoba Liquor Commission control, uh, the MLCC, the M MBLL as it's called now. I check the Liquor Mart's website almost daily because I want to make sure I, I, I see what's new, when it's new, and if, uh, if I can, then I'll go and get it. And one day I saw this listed on the website, this box and this bottle. So I hurried over and I grabbed three of these, bo uh, these boxes, took them home. And I thought, oh great, it's a 10 year old whiskey. It's got a picture on it right there. So that's what it's going to be and what did I do I opened it up and what did I find first of all it says cheers Manitoba which is awesome but this is what was in there the standard limited edition so I was very sad non age stated so that's going to get returned when I can I can't return it yet until until they allow Anyway, so then I called and I talked to some people that worked in stores and um, one fella, Richard, over at the um, Sage Creek location, he called me and he said, Mark, I got a case full of Crown Royal 10-year-old. And I said, wait a minute, does it say 10-year-old on the bottle? And he checked and goes, yep, yep, it says 10-year-old on the bottle. So I rushed over there and I grabbed a bunch of these. I won't tell you how many. <laughs> But, you know, it's very rare to get Crown Royal with an age statement. Um, more recently, there was a 13-year-old, which I have, that I'll, I'll do a review on sometime soon. I think uh, Rob over at Whiskey in the Six just did one. So you can check that out. But um, uh, they're few and far between. It's been a long time since we saw age statements for Crown Royal. And it seems that the industry as a whole, the whiskey industry, is coming back to age statements. Everybody is excited about that. There's eight-year-olds up the yin-yang out there, uh, ten-year-olds, five-year-olds, why not? Four-year-olds, sure. Get the age statement on there, show how old it is, and talk about it. And tell us why we should get it. Now, this is very rye forward, but first of all, let me just show you the color of that Crown Royal, which probably has a little bit of um, E150A added in there. So it's got a healthy glow to it, which it should be lighter at 10 years old. But it is what it is, and that's the color that Crown Royal says is Crown Royal. So uh, take it or leave it as a neighbor starts to mow his lawn. 
Everybody's barbecuing tonight. It's a gorgeous day here in Winnipeg. Beautiful day. Okay, let's check the legs out. A little bit hard with this glass, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, here we go. Of course, very brisk legs. It's 40% ABV. They're already at the bottom. And not much in the way of secondary legs. So there they start. They're also pretty quick. But again, 40% ABV, that would be expected. All right, let's get on to the nosing, shall we? Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous rye. Beautiful rye nose. This has a high proportion of their rye. That could be copper pot still distilled rye, I'm not sure. Or they've opened a lot of the plates and, and let it get nice and juicy and oily. And then you have your standard creaminess. You've got the, um, uh, the beautiful, very, very ripe, delicious Chiquita bananas coming through there. And the rye is coming out here as a slight minty, crab apple -y. fresh, dusty, spicy rye. And for anybody who's not sure exactly what rye is like, I guess it's kind of like what hops are to beer. Um, it adds spice, it adds a fruitiness. Gorgeous. Okay, onto the palate. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Manitoba. Happy 150th. Light, fresh, well aged, delicious rye coming through there. I tell you, what Crown Royal can do is pretty amazing. They just have to start getting more age statements on their whiskeys, get a 15 year old out again. I've got one downstairs, I'll open that one day with you. It's got a beautiful glass cork, cork stopper, glass stopper. I think there's even a 20 or 25 year old from way back when. Hmm. It's really delicious. It's fruity. Uh, those bananas are there. Apples. Uh, that hint of mint in there. The finish is very clean. A little bit on the short side. but. It's fruity, sweet, vanilla, hint of caramel. But the greatest thing in here is the high proportion of rye whiskey, which is as Canadian as, um, uh, as beavers. All right, I'm going to add this tiny little bit of water in there. I'm going to add just maybe two or three drops. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was four. That's okay. We have more than an ounce there. If you were to add ice to this, you'll pro predominantly just simply get the rye note coming through which would probably be very interesting and refreshing in the summer. In fact, I maybe should do that. And with water even, the rye is a bit ramped up here. And that banana is toned down. It's 
softens it up, makes it very, very rich, very fresh, very smooth. Now, 40% ABV, if this were 46%, it would be a lot stronger, more punchy, which might be good. You can get the, uh, the Crown Royal Black, that's 45%. Um, even the uh, Northern Harvest Rye, which is also 45%. And that really ramps up the, um, the whole experience somewhat. So this would be very interesting at 45%. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to try adding a bit of ice. Be right back. Okay, adding some water, some ice into there. And let's see how we do. We've got about four or five cubes. You get beautiful vanilla alongside this minty rye note. So it's really, um, it's cut out a lot of the, the scents, but it's, it's sort of letting uh, one or two of them really come to the forefront. It kind of reminds me now of uh, a 7-Up Slurpee with a little bit of lime in there. Yes, exactly lime. So I'm getting lime out of this now. Like a lime cordial. Okay, the palette with ice. It's spicier. Of course it deadens your palate slightly because it's so cold. But it would be very nice on ice with a little bit of club soda added. A very low calorie summer drink. That would be just amazing. Please do give that a try. Maybe I should try that. Whoops. Okay, let's make a Crown Royal limited edition 10 year old highball. Of course, it's a low ball glass, but that's okay. And that's what you do. No need to stir it. If you want to, you could do it very gently with a, a spoon, just one time. Very refreshing. I mean, it's got zero sugar in there. So all you've got is about the 50 calories or so per ounce of whiskey. Very easy to drink. Mm. Beautiful. Now I like my highball stronger. So you know you gotta play with it until you get the right flavor and fizziness for your palate. That looks about right to me. Oh yeah. Hmm. Well, again, cheers, Manitoba. Happy birthday. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Cheers to you. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you click the link right over here to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Oh, we forgot the, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score. My bad. Okay, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Crown Royal Limited Edition 10-year-old. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 86 out of 100. You heard it. 86 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Crown Royal Limited Edition 10-year-old. Make sure you try and get one of those. It's fantastic. Well, cheers Manitoba. Happy birthday. And cheers to all of you for watching. Mmm. Delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the link right over there. And hit the bell so you're notified of the future whiskey whistles. There'll be lots more Canadian whiskey, lots more bourbon, lots more Scotch whiskey and world whiskey coming up. And if you're enjoying what I do here on Whiskey Whistle, jump into Whiskey Whistle on Patreon and join the Whiskey Whistle crew. Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Take care, everybody.
Bye now.